Hey, everybody, I want to start today with a document released by the Republican Party, the 20 promises that are part of their platform. If they were to win in 2024, it's horrifying. It's dystopian. Many of them make no sense. Many of them I don't even think Republicans understand. So let's start there today. Here's the document, the 2024 Republican platform, Make America Great Again. And let's just go through these. There's 20 items here, and this will really give us a sense of even when they talk about policy, they don't really talk about policy. So one and two are seal the border and stop the migrant invasion and carry out the largest deportation operation in American history. This is a combination of fear mongering nonsense and Project 2025. Remember when it was it was uh, a fear mongered about that Barack Obama was going to round people up and put them in camps. It's actually Trump who would round people up and put them in camps. He's admitted it. He says that they would be deportation camps. Uh, and I don't know that this one warrants spending too much time on today because we've talked about it so much. But it's important to understand that they are uh, lying about the state of immigration, lying about the threat posed by immigrants, both documented and undocumented. And their solution is straight out of Project 2025. Number three is end inflation and make America affordable again. Now, part of it is sort of like, hey, brilliant. Why didn't anybody else think of it? It's kind of like, why didn't uh, Joe Biden just ban covid? He should have made it illegal for covid to be in the United States and then you end the pandemic and then you're fine. Of course, the problem is they put end inflation right after sealing the border and deporting people, which would have an inflationary effect. The tariffs Trump wants to do would have an inflationary effect. Trump's plan, which we talked about on yesterday's bonus show to erode Federal Reserve independence and be able to decide on interest rates, whatever's convenient for him, that would generate inflation. And also, it's important to consider that when they say make America affordable again, many of them actually want deflation. I've heard from Magapotamians who tell me, David, I won't consider inflation resolved until prices go back to pre pandemic levels. That would be a deflationary spiral, the likes of which would destroy the economy. In order to have deflation such that prices go back to 2020 prices, we would have to go through a period of very high unemployment, zero or even negative wage growth, and potentially putting the country into a recession. So even what they are asking for, would be economically destructive. Number four, they want to make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far. News for you. We are the most dominant energy producer in the world by far, by their definition, which is oil and gas. We are making more here domestically now than we ever did under Donald Trump when it comes to oil and gas. We are, I believe, nearly double the next largest producer, and we are producing more than we import. We are as energy independent by their definition as we have ever been. So this is one of those where they put it in there. I don't know if anyone knows what it means, and it's certainly untrue uh, that we are not currently already doing what they say should be done. Uh, number five, stop outsourcing and turn the U.S. into a manufacturing superpower. Sure, sounds good. will be massively inflationary. As I've explained before, we can bring uh, our supply chains back domestically. It will take decades. The idea that Trump will do it next year is pathetic and laughable, and everything will be way more expensive. We can do it. I just don't know that people want things to be more expensive, given number three, which is end inflation. Number six, large tax cuts for workers and no tax on tips. You know, the, the devil is in the details of large tax cuts for workers, no tax on tips. We've talked about I'm fine with it. Generally speaking, you need to put some parameters on it to avoid money laundering. Number seven, defend our Constitution, our Bill of Rights and our fundamental freedoms, including freedom of speech, religion and the right to keep and bear arms. Standard red meat kind of pablum, not super meaningful. Number eight is prevent World War three, restore peace in Europe and the Middle East and build a great Iron Dome missile defense shield over the entire country, all made in America. This is just absurd. Um, the Iron Dome is built primarily for short range ballistic rockets and mortar shells. 
why the U.S. would need that, you know, to stop rocket attacks from Canada and Mexico. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Number nine end the weaponization of government against the American people. Uh, they've not demonstrated that that's taking place. Ten is stop the migrant crime epidemic, demolish foreign drug cartels, crush gang violence and lock up violent offenders. Yeah, sure. I mean, the migrant crime epidemic essentially doesn't exist in so far as migrants, immigrants, legal and undocumented are less likely to commit crimes than U.S. born citizens. So it just doesn't make sense. Rebuild our cities, including D.C. All right. I mean, how uh, with what? Uh, with what spending and won't that cause inflation by their own standards, strengthen and modernize, modernize the military, making it the strongest and most powerful in the world. It already is. Keep the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. Well, the U.S. dollar will remain the reserve currency if we fix a lot of the other problems that they have no plans to fix. You can't just say we are keeping the dollar as the reserve currency. It's up to other countries and global financial institutions to decide that. So you kind of can't just do it. 14 fight for and protect Social Security and Medicare with no cuts and no changes to the retirement age. Fine. Trump has said he would consider doing those things. So you've got to talk to him. 15 cancel the electric vehicle mandate and cut costly and burdensome regulations. As always, they don't tell us which regulations are the burdensome ones. Find me a burdensome regulation and I'll join you in demanding that it be cut. Number 16, cut federal funding for schools pushing critical race theory, radical gender ideology and other inappropriate racial, sexual or political content on our children. As all of you know, what qualifies under those descriptions is very much in the eye of the beholder. They claim to be for free speech. Yet I can assure you they will use item 16 there to suppress speech. Number 17, keep men out of women's sports. Put aside for a second that the issue of gender and sports predates the current transgender panic that exists and also is a far more nuanced and complicated issue than many Republicans make it out to be. The idea that one of the 20 most pressing issues for the four year rule of the leader of the free world is, quote, men and women's sports reminds us of the sad state of American political theater. Number 18, deport pro Hamas radicals and make college campuses safe and patriotic again. Listen, I'm uh, as against Hamas as anyone else. But if they're American citizens, where would you deport them to this? I mean, that just doesn't really make any sense. 19 is secure our elections, of course, they tried to steal the 2020 election. And then number 20, unite the country by bringing it to new and record levels of success, which is typical, meaningless Trump word salad. We've been asking for the platform. We've been asking for the policy promises. We got them and they are a pathetic joke. Staying healthy is all about sustainable habits, something you'll actually stick to which is why I've been using a G one in the morning for years now. It's just so much simpler than messing with a bunch of different vitamin pills and products. And with just a single scoop of a G one, I get the vitamins, minerals and probiotics I want. And I'm keeping my nutritional basis covered for the day. It's just easy. It's easy. I feel better. My energy lasts longer. In a recent research study, 97 percent of participants reported feeling more energy after 30 days of drinking AG one in a recent study. AG one was shown to even double the healthy bacteria in the gut. It's easy and satisfying to start your journey with AG one. Try AG one and get a free one year supply of vitamin D three K two plus five free AG one travel packs with your first subscription order at drink AG one dot com slash Pacman. The link is in the description.